Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to remove the Linux entry from File Explorer. So if you already uninstalled the Windows subsystem for Linux, but the Linux entry, as you can see right here, still remains on the left navigation pane of File Explorer, this is what you do. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, before continuing, this process requires to edit the registry, which if it is not done correctly, it might cause issues on the computer. So it is important that you create a backup before proceeding. Check the video description that I have a link to a tutorial on how to do this. Now, back to the steps. Okay, first open start and look for the registry. And now you need to navigate to H key, current user, software, classes, CL, SID, and then press enter. Now, right click this key, select new and click on key. Now you will have to name this key as you see on the screen and press enter. Now right click the newly created key, select new and choose the DWR 32 bit value option and name it system that is pin to name space tree as you see it on the screen and press enter. Now right click on it and select the modify option and make sure that the value is set to zero and then click OK. Now you need to restart File Explorer if you have it open. You may have to restart the computer if you still not see the changes. And now, as you can see, the Linux entry is no longer available. Now, if for some reason you need to re-enable the feature, just open the registry one more time and then from the same location, either set the D word to one or delete the entire key that we created. Make sure that you select the correct key and click yes. Now we're going to reopen File Explorer. And then you can see that the Linux entry is right here. And that's it. That's how you remove or re-enable the Linux entry on File Explorer. Let me know in the comments if the instructions work for you. And also let me know the type of content that you would like me to cover more in this channel. As always, remember to like the video, share it, and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.